I'm Gareth Watkins from Watkins Contractors Limited in Herefordshire and I'm the Crone Central Kingpin. So I'm the third generation with Watkins Contractors Limited. We're a family based company in South Herefordshire covering combining, drilling um, and sugar beet along with forage crops. So with the forage we do 1200 acres of grass a year, um, 800 acres of whole crop and 1600 acres of maize and blended in with our other cropping. So as well as the contracting, we also have a farm and we farm 1800 acres of our own ground, some owned, some tenanted and some in farm partnerships. So we operate with the Chrome brand Tedders rakes, um, a 760 and an 880 rake. Then we have uh, front and rear mowers and an extra rear mower uh, mounted, the 320 CVs. Um, we then have the forager behind us, uh, which we're into our fourth season with at the moment. So we try and specialize and be a little bit different. So our chrome square baler is the multi-pack baler. It's a bit more individual. It's the 120 by 70, um, but the 120, well, the 120 by 70 baler with this multi-bale has been a real growth area for us. We like to have something that's a little bit different that we can offer a different service to other contractors and that had been able to offer that multi-bale. So in an eight foot bale, we could put it eight bales into it. So obviously six strings on a 120 by 70 bale um, and the uh, outside two strings and the middle two strings hold the whole bale together. And then so strings number two and five are the multi-bales. So a customer in theory could cut strings number one three, uh, four and six, and the bale would, would come apart into its different splits. And, and that's become a real growth that customers like that, as customers that are either horse customers, so we can stack a eight foot bale into their sheds, and then with sack trucks, they can move round to the stables, the small individual bales, which in theory would be a, a foot long, um, um, 120, which is, is four foot wide, and then two foot tall. So it's a quite a handy bale. It is slightly bigger and obviously has more in it than a conventional little bale that people would have been bumping around. But it uh, gives the added flexibility of being able to clear a field quickly, but having those small bales for handling later on. The, that was our first step into a chrome baler. We were amazed at the build quality on that. So it's easier to stack, easier to move, but still gives that smaller bale for individual needs for horse customers, for uh, livestock showing customers, it's an extra string to our bow. So our first introduction to Chrome was in 2011 with our rake, but our first introduction with the foragers was in 2013, where we made a step away from our previous forager to a uh, Big X 700. Very pleased with that. The step we went was that we found the forager was built for the higher outputs, where previous machines we felt were being adapted to try and uh, accommodate greater yield, greater cropping and the Chrome was already built for that high output machine. So that was the 700 was the first one we went to, which we bought with uh, the grass header, the whole crop header, and a maize header, 12 row maize header. That first step from a six row Kemper up to a 12 row um, maize header was a big step for us. It was a huge jump forward. So in 2019, we then moved to the Big X 780. We were pleased in in past, we were only doing three years with a forager and find that it was time to change it. But when we moved to Chrome, we were able to do five years. So we did five years with our first machine and then changed to this big X780 here. We found also with the maze, we put the OptiMaze uh, mill in and those chevroned angled blades in there provided a, a very consistent, um, even more than the 700s, consistent shop um, and feed in, which was what a customer needs. The, also with the, the angles of the blades inside, there was chop quality from the start of the day to the end of the day, all the way through. And we were getting the feedback from our digester customers that with previous machines, we were getting whole leaves sitting on top of the digester and stopping the, the bubbling process, where the crone is providing even crop uh, feed all the way through the day. The Big X780 also we adapt, uh, added on for the yield monitoring so that we can then more accurately give our customers what yield, what crops they've had when we finished. It also feeds in then for the additive that we're putting on, 
we can uh, provide an accurate per ton um, literage of uh, additive for the customers. So we have been able to get on with jobs quicker, the, but still providing the, the quality of the work. The drivers are saying how much better the cab is. So for operator comfort within the cab and the display screen and be able to alter settings on the move while they're working as far as a step up from where we were with the 700 as well. Um, the additive tanks have been able to the split tanks that you can then configure how you want to either split them into fuel tanks or to additive tanks gives the added flexibility to us as well. So with the, on, the, on our grass header then that we've moved to the uh, feed rollers even feed in the front which obviously is all crops it gives us a greater feed in but with the um, different spacing between the pickup tines gives a far more even feed. We were finding before with the, with the tines all in one line, the grass was coming through in waves and in pulses, where now it gives a consistent feed all the way through, which obviously then helps it keep a regular chop within inside the drum. We, um, we run a 40 knife drum, but for grass, we run a half set of blades, and, uh, and so that we can then uh, give a flexibility, which is, which is great for our machine, between our digester customers and our livestock customers, because the livestock customers generally want a longer cut. Um, so that being able to swap, which it doesn't take as long as I thought it would for us to take half a set of blades in and put those blankers in, so we can be flexible for all customers then. So on all the Crone headers with this, uh, on the 780, the newer models, the, there's the new arc on the front of the headers, and that arc gives us better lateral float, which makes we'll be able to follow the ground contours far greater. So with yeah, the grass header, the, the whole crop header and the maize header, that ground contour following is a lot better with the new arc system.